Global meetings between the ASEAN organization and rural organizations are continue to exist in order to strengthen ties between nations. We have more here in ASEAN News. Timorese President Zeram Zor to participate in the ASEAN and Gulf Cooperation Council Summit in Saudi Arabia. On October 12, 2023, Timor-Leste's President Jose Ramzorta and his delegation officially departed to the United Arab Emirates in order to have official meeting with his counterpart and the United Arab Emirates Prime Minister. During his visit, Ramzorta will meet with the Arabian investors and he also will visit factories. On this official trip, Jose Ramzorta will participate in the UN Trade and Development Conference and in this conference, Horta will be the main speaker. In a statement on a press release, Horta said the United Arab Emirates is one of the richest countries, tolerant and liberal in the Gulf region. Therefore, Timor-Leste wants to build bilateral relations with this country. On the 18th of October, Horta and delegation will continue their trip to Saudi Arabia to participate in the Asian Gulf Cooperation Council Summit, which will be held on October 20, 2023. At the Asian Gulf Cooperation Council Summit, the Timorese President will speak with the leaders from the Gulf states about Timor-Leste's status in the ASEAN as an observer and pledges its commitment to participate in all ASEAN summits. The first high-level meeting of the Archipelagic and Island States Forum 2023 is to maintain principles such as solidarity, equality and inclusiveness for corporations. Indonesian President Joko Widodo considered the high-level meeting will maintain the solidarity, equality and inclusiveness between all participant countries. Joko also added that there can be cooperation built among countries during the meeting to find solutions to global issues. KTT AIS sepakat untuk memegang prinsip solidaritas, kesetaraan dan inklusivitas sebagai landasan bersama dalam bekerja sama. Negara berkembang dan negara kepulauan memiliki hak yang sama untuk maju, memiliki hak yang sama untuk melakukan pembangunan. Oleh sebab itu, kolaborasi dan kesatuan negara kepulauan dan negara pulau sangat dibutuhkan untuk dapat tumbuh bersama dan mengatasi beragam tantangan-tantangan yang ada. Di mana Indonesia sebagai negara maritim akan terus menjadi barisan terdepan mendukung AIS Forum sebagai kerjasama yang inklusif negara kepulauan dan negara pulau. Dan Indonesia juga berkomitmen menyiapkan dana hibah untuk dimanfaatkan terutama dalam mengatasi perubahan iklim dan pengembangan inovasi baru dan tata kelola laut yang berkelanjutan. During the 2023 first high-level meeting of the Archipelagic and Island States Forum in Bali, all leaders agreed to work together and discuss the roadmap and the appropriate model. On this first high-level meeting of the Archipelagic and Island States Forum, the discussion will focus on four main global issues which are the climate change, green economy, plastic waste service system, and the maritime control system. United States will continue to strengthen cooperation between Timor-Leste in the defense sector. Donaciano Costa Gomez, the Timorese Minister of Defense, met with the newly appointed Charged Affairs of the U.S. Embassy in Timor-Leste and to discuss about cooperation between both countries in the defense field. Uh, this visit is to establish an intensive communication with Timorese government, particularly with the defense ministry, and to learn more about development cooperation of Timor-Leste in defense sector with various countries with different type of dimension. This is important as for Timor-Leste can maintain a strong relation with all countries with its main objective to contribute to the national development of Timor-Leste. Timor the USA has supported Timor-Leste defense area, especially in the aircraft patrolling training. The group of Indonesian Islamists rail in support of Palestinians as Gaza violence flares. Hundreds of people from an Islamist group rallied in front of the U.S. Embassy in Jakarta, demanding it stop supporting Israel as airstrikes pounded Gaza City. The world's largest Muslim population has regularly expressed support for Palestinian statehood in the past, and earlier this year the holiday island of Bali withdrew as the host of the Under-20 FIFA World Cup, refusing to host Israel's soccer. Pada siang hari ini, ingin menuntut kepada 
Our action this afternoon is to demand the United States to the U.S. Embassy to stop its support for the Jewish occupiers, namely the Zionist Israel. We know that the U.S. government has only supported the barbarism, cruelty, and crimes committed by Israel, so we are demonstrating to demand the that they, and especially the American government, to stop and revoke its support for Israel. Israel. Palestine's Gaza has been witnessing the heavy strikes, air strikes, in the 75-year history of its conflict with Israel. Gaza's health ministry said Israel's retaliatory strikes had killed at least 770 people and wounded more than 4,000. Civilian victims pour into Indonesian hospital in northern Gaza as violence between Israelis and Palestinians continue. Civilians' victims poured into the Indonesian hospital in northern Gaza as violence between Israel and Palestinians continue to mount. Indonesian non-governmental organization Medical Emergency Rescue Committee, which owns the hospital, told a press conference that plans to shore up medical facilities in Gaza by sending surgeons and volunteers were underway. We think it is necessary to send a surgical team and humanitarian volunteers to Gaza, Palestine. Therefore, we will quickly coordinate with the Foreign Ministry and Indonesian Embassy in Cairo to facilitate the sending of a medical team and surgical team to Gaza. Hamas, the Islamist movement that controls Gaza, launched a surprise attack on Israel, killing at least 900 people and abducting dozens of hostages in the deadliest such incursion in decades. We are not just sending humanitarian aid, but we are also preparing for the construction of a specialist clinic in the Indonesian hospital. Therefore, we are asking the government to help us in facilitating this team to enter Gaza immediately. Israel subsequently battered Palestinians with air strikes in Gaza, and Gaza Health Minister said at least 687 Palestinians have been killed and 3,726 wounded in Israeli air strikes on the blockaded enclave since Saturday last week. Indonesia wants to co-host 2034 World Cup with Australia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Indonesia is in discussions with Australia about a possible joint bid to host the 2034 World Cup along with Malaysia and Singapore, said the president of the country's football federation, PSSI. World football's governing body, FIFA, invited member associations from Asia and Oceania to bid for the rights to the 2034 edition last week. We are discussing a bit with Australia. PSSI President Eric Tohir was quoted as saying by the Sydney Morning Herald. When I visited Malaysia and Singapore, both countries expressed interest to join Indonesia and Australia. When asked for the comment on a possible joint bid, Football Australia referred Reuters to a statement last week that said it was exploring the possibility of bidding for the 2029 FIFA Club World Cup and or the FIFA World Cup 2034. The Asian Football Confederation said it will not comment on the report. The PSSI, the Football Association of Malaysia and Football Association of Singapore have not responded to the Reuters' request for comment. Thank you very much everyone. We will see you all again. Have a nice day.